Hey friends, welcome to my channel and this video is about how to prepare for the last 7 days before your CSIR exam because uh, uh, in the state CSIR website the admit cards are available you can download and only 7 to 8 days are left for your exam and this is the right time to do a uh, or to prepare a good strategy that how you have to utilize this last last 7 days and I uh, prepared a PowerPoint presentation and full script for that. I will discuss it with you. And I applied this same thing uh, in my own case, and I got good results. So you should watch this video till the end. So let's start. So this is your effective study plan for the last seven days, and uh, this is for the CSI NET exam 2018 June. So the how to set a effective study plan. I will discuss that point by point so number one you shouldn't waste this time and you should use this last seven days effectively what does that mean so many people may have told you that uh, you don't need to read uh, much in this last seven days if you already read throughout the year or throughout the semester but that is not true because uh, this is not your university exam which i will tell in the next point and uh, you should use these seven days effectively i am telling you it will obviously help you in your exam so the next point is that you should note that csi net exam and your university exam or board exam they are these two type of exams are completely different this is a competitive exam and its syllabus is from your bsc first year to the msc last year so this is a huge syllabus and it is not possible that you have revised all the things which you read in these five years uh, in the last one year or in the last one semester so many things are there which is left but uh, once in this uh, five year you read that and you have concept of that uh, topic so it just need a revise for your university exam what happens is that you generally uh, study well throughout the year or throughout the semester so there is no need to study further in the near to the exam because uh, there are conceptual questions and subjective type questions you can easily answer them if your concept is strong but in this case you need good revise and good practice so this these uh, seven days you have to utilize for that you have to find what things uh, are missed out from your revision so that things you have to find out the third point is that you have to prepare a checklist for what for first to revise all the doubtful and forgetful organic structures for example uh, in the csi exam they can ask like uh, what are the bases present in the pyridine uh, sorry what are the bases present in the dna or rna there are some purine and pyrimidine bases and their structures also you have to know you have to know the hydrogen bonding between AT and GC and that uh, thymine, guanine, uracil, that's base structure you should know because they can give you the base structure and you have to tell what is the base. So these are not conceptual questions. These are uh, basically you have to memorize and if you can't, don't memorize, you will lose mark. I lose say, four marks on the question that uh, they gave uracil base and asked that whether it is in DNA or RNA. Uh, I just confused and cannot answer the question so I don't want the same thing happens to you so that's why you have to revise these things now the next point is that you have to revise all the phys physical chemistry formulas which you seems you think that it is uh, forgetful to you for example for me uh, the coefficient of thermal expansion and the compressibility factor alpha and beta these things I every time I forget and there are some uh, formulas where if there is a positive charge or negative charge that I forget and you know based uh, what is your weak point so according to that you have to revise then after that you have to revise all other physical chemistry formulas and units units are very important because if you miss uh, do mistake in units your uh, final answer will be wrong and you will get negative marks so then you have to revise all the physical chemistry formulas because uh, in this uh, competitive exams the most of the questions are numerical type and if you don't know the formula you will not get any marks so revise all the formulas uh, for uh, which are mo uh, mostly which are important and you know that so after that uh, you have to go through the important reagents and chemicals for that you should read the chapter of oxidation reduction from Caruthers because that chapter is elegant in terms of your reagents 
and if you read that chapter several times then also i will recommend you to read it once again within the seven days and while reading that you should prepare a notebook where you will write uh, the reagents which seems uh, something different uh, some exceptional for example uh, MnO2 is used for oxidation of a allylic alcohol then silite and uh, silite and silver carbonate are used for oxidation of secondary alcohol this type of things uh, are several this type of things are there in this chapter and you have to uh, write uh, write down them separately because just before uh, the last night before the exam you can revise them once again and that will help you a lot I am saying so after that uh, revise all the forgetful reactions uh, which you think forgetful uh, for example the sharpless uh, oxidation and sharpless dihydroxylation this is very simple but it is basically a uh, thing which you have to memorize because the attack whether it is at a, it will take place from the top side or bottom side that you have to memorize and uh, you need a several time revision for that otherwise you will think that I will do in the exam but in the exam you will forget so this thing you have to revise uh, in these seven days after that uh, you have to uh, go through all the important stereochemistry topics for example atropisomerisms and other examples are there I already discussed some of them in my channel you can watch that videos and then finally the organic name reactions these are very important I already put one um, sheet on the name reaction sheet part one and I will put another uh, the final part if I get time if I don't get time you can uh, read from any book you know which name reactions are important so this is very important you should uh, at least uh, know the all the name reactions and that need a uh, one time re uh, revision before your exam then after that the fourth point is that you should revise your salt papers if you have a book on salt paper or you have a notebook that you solved by your own that uh, notebook you have to revise in this time because uh, it will uh, help you a lot this uh, which thing you will revise now that will uh, stuck to your head and when if the same question come your, in your exam you can uh, answer it in a second so that will save your time and also uh, increase your marks then after that uh, the fifth point is that uh, now uh, you are doing study whole day and uh, you may feel boring so at that time for uh, some uh, freshness you can solve the general aptitude questions because general aptitude questions are also important uh, there are 30 marks on general aptitude and if you do well you can get at least 15 so it will uh, help you to increase the overall marks but I myself is not good in general aptitude but you should definitely do that then after that the sixth point is that you have to revise the notes on tricky and doubtful questions I hope that you have already have uh, a notebook separate notebook on tricky and doubtful questions uh, like uh, various questions I most of the questions I discussed in my channel they are slightly tricky and that type of questions are several there in the net exam so you should have a several notebook separate notebook for that because uh, you cannot manage that question on the stage you should have prior knowledge of that and uh, this is the right time to revise them then after that the thing is which is that you should have knowledge of frequently asked questions and also some topics are there which they ask several times uh, every time they repeat that for example uh, they ask this question that they will give you a group and there will be missing uh, row and you have to tell what will be the row so this question every time they ask and uh, you know these things because if you know this uh, general things which which are repeated then you are already losing your marks uh, you cannot waste your time on that type of things these things you have to answer within a minute so uh, you should note that type of things and revise them in these last seven days and uh, the last thing which I uh, you can uh, see in the thumbnail of the video that I say don't read Caruthers now this is not a general statement uh, this is for those who don't want to read this book or who didn't read this book previously if you read this book previously and if you're comfortable with it if you like it then it is absolutely fine you should read it uh, but who didn't read this book don't try to read it right now because someone is tra telling that questions will come from Caruthers and uh, you are now uh, going to read this book that will not help you it will basically 
put burden on you, uh, give you tension and overall you will be scared and cannot, uh, g- uh, cannot have a good exam. So avoid Caruthers if you don't like it and if you don't read it previously, it is all right. You don't, uh, it is not that you must read Caruthers for cracking this exam. I myself crack this exam without Caruthers. So uh, if you read Clayden and solve previous questions, before that, that is also fine. So that's why I put this uh, don't read Caruthers. And after that, if you like this video, then uh, subscribe my channel. And uh, best of luck for your exam. And uh, thank you for watching.